Hi, today I want to show you how to make a simple template using GoodNotes 5. First, we're going to create a new notebook. We're going to give it a title, and then we're also going to select the preset templates. So I'm going to choose Ruled Narrow. In this screen, you can also set up your cover page, but I can show you that later. I'm going to go through some of the basic functions of GoodNotes. First, we have the ball pen tool or the pen tool. And this is where you can select the different types of pens which GoodNotes offers. There are some settings for you to play with to suit your personal preferences. Next, we have the eraser tool. Again, this comes with some different options for you to play with. Up on the right here is the easy access to the different colors. Now you can change these colors to whatever preferences you want. Also next to the colors is the line thicknesses. Again, you can change these to whatever you want. Next, we have the highlighter tool, and a really good option is the ability to allow it to draw in a straight line. So I like to use the highlighter, not just for highlighting text, but for example, if I'm drawing a sketch, I like to use the highlighter as a sort of coloring in pen. Next is my favorite feature, and that's the shape tool. It allows you to draw some different kinds of shapes, but what I mainly use it for is just to draw straight lines. The lasso tool, is what allows you to edit what you've written already. And this gives GoodNotes amazing flexibility to edit and create all types of notes. This next button is the easy access to your photos. By clicking here, you have the access to your photos and you can simply just drag any photo you want into your notes. The next feature is the camera and you can use the camera directly and any photos which you take can be imported straight into your notes. The next button is the text editor. So you can click it and you can type in any text which you want into your notes and resize it to however you want. I want to create a notebook page with a margin. So all I'm gonna do is click on the shapes tool and draw a straight line to form my margin. Once I'm happy with the margin, I'm gonna click the share button in the top left corner, then click on export this page. Next, check the export settings. We're going to want a PDF and we're going to want the PDF data formatted to be flattened. Include all the annotations and include the page background. Then click export. It's going to ask you where to share it. Now we want to save it to files. And then all you've got to do is find the file or folder you want to save it to. Now we want to add the PDF that we just created. So click on the add page button in the top right hand corner and click on import. Navigate to the PDF you just created and import that file. Once that PDF has been imported, now when we drag the screen from right to left, it will create a new page with the template we had just created. Using the techniques I've just shown you, I'm now gonna show you how to create a simple calculation page I start by creating a horizontal line to create the header. I then import a made up company logo. I created this logo or title text using an app called Typerama. Now I'm creating the text for the client, the project, the title, who it's written by, the sheet number and the date. Next, I create some margins on the left and the right hand side. The left hand side is typically used for references and the right margin is normally used for output. Using the methods I'd shown you earlier, I export into PDF and re-import as a background. Thanks for watching and hopefully you found this video useful. Remember, you don't have to create your own PDF templates. If you've managed to download some which you'd like to use, you can simply import them and you can just get right to it and use them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.